Hey guys, what we'd like to do in this video is talk about a news story which I came across a few days ago involving Tesla, Elon Musk's Tesla, which is in the news a lot. And the headline is, man buys used Tesla, a secondhand Tesla, with autopilot. Tesla remotely disables autopilot because it was not a feature that you had paid for. Now, this is something I don't agree with, but it is something which I think we might see becoming standard in the future. So, what they say in this article is that Tesla has recently identified instances of customers being incorrectly configured for autopilot versions that they did not pay for. Since there was an audit done to correct these instances, your vehicle is one of the vehicles that was incorrectly configured for autopilot. We look back at your purchase history, and unfortunately full self, uh, full self driving was not a feature that you'd paid for. We apologize for the confusion. If you're still interested in having those additional features, we can begin the process to purchase the upgrade. So that was the email to the customer and they want $8,000 to restore autopilot. So, to simplify this story, someone bought a second-hand Tesla. It doesn't say here, I don't think it does say which one it is, but it's kind of irrelevant. Someone bought a second-hand Tesla and they paid, I don't know what, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. These aren't cheap cars. They bought a second-hand Tesla and it was sold as having the autopilot feature. Then when he began to use the Tesla, obviously he set up his own account as a customer, etc. And they said, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have auto, autopilot because you have not paid for it. Now, this is something that's come up a lot in the kind of website development world. We've seen this migration towards software as a service in that, you know, something isn't being sold once, it's being charged for on a monthly basis. They want a monthly revenue or a yearly revenue. That is what companies are really pushing a lot of things, uh, a lot of their business model towards. They want something to be charged monthly or yearly. They don't want to sell something once and then that's it. Now, this is something which we've not really seen in the, the car world, if you buy a second-hand car, certainly with my own experiences here in the UK, if you buy a car with, say, satellite navigation, then you've got satellite navigation. Now, normally you get like one, two, or three years of satellite navigation, but it isn't just taken away from you when you buy the car. You might buy the car and they say, you've got another three years of updates, and then, you know, you'll pay £100 and then you can get another year of updates, something like that. That's kind of normal. But what they're saying here is, this is an integral feature of the car that you just bought, and we're just going to take it away. Unless you pay us $8,000, and then at a click of a button, we will restore it. Now, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. And I think most people who drive cars, anyone who drives, will not agree with this. But I, I'm also concerned that this is the way that things are going to go. We're going to see more cars kind of going down this route because we're going to see more ele you know, electric cars. Here in the UK, I think there's plans to stop the sale of all diesel and petrol cars in 15 years time by 2035. And I read an article that said that within the next five years, electric cars might be at a price range where people will opt for electric cars rather than diesel cars or petrol cars. Because right now, if you buy an electric car, you are kind of paying over the odds for that. But you know, economies of scale, the price of cars, of electric cars, is going to come down over the next few years. And the guess is that within five or six years, we will see electric cars becoming the norm. And when that happens, we're going to see, you know, a lot of cars, I'm not going to say copying Tesla, but I, I do think we're going to see more interactions between, you know, a, like a tablet style computer where a lot of features are, sw are simply switched on or off, you know, as far as extras. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link to this article, check it out yourself, um, let me know what you think about this. Someone's bought a used Tesla, and then Tesla have, has removed the feature. That is essentially what has what's, what's happened here. Um, I don't agree with it, but if you look at what's happened in other, you know, um, other parts of the tech world, I, I think this could be the way that things go. Time will tell, but again, with these kind of things, you can vote with your wallet and simply don't buy a car from a company that would do this. But there might be a point where all companies do this and you're screwed, so I don't know. Let me know, let me know what you think about it anyway, guys. I hope you're all doing very well, but please do leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.